the country and creative industries are among the hardest hit sectors by COVID-19. In 2020, the UNESCO Office for the Pacific States participated in a joint UN exercise measuring the impact of the pandemic in the Pacific Island states. What we saw was that many of those part of the cultural sector did not receive support because they were predominantly part of the informal sector. Previous studies have also shown that they have very limited access to professional development and, and capacity building. And many of those in the sector do not perceive their involvement in the creative sector as a professional undertaking. We have the talent. We have the passion, we have the understanding of how to, what to, when to, but we lack that business side of things. Like most of these dance companies, they don't even know how to do their marketing and their sales. And even like the most simplest things that we should know going into the workforce is how to write a bio. So what we did was pull expertise from these four agencies and try to develop a consolidated program that could support and assist MSMEs in the creative and agriculture sector. So we've got UNESCO and IFED that focus on the technical skills training of creatives, for instance, the dancing, the, the painting. And then we have the ILO coming in with the business development component, which is business training, advisory, and also mentoring. And then you've got UNDP also bringing in their expertise in the area of business resilience, so looking at business continuity planning, but also in terms of looking at e-commerce. The project was funded by the MPTF Fund. One of the main objectives was to revive the traditional Pacific way of transmitting skills and knowledge through the Master Apprentice Scheme. And for that we worked with experienced artists and creatives in various sub-sectors of the creative sector, such as dance, traditional crafts, including carving, pottery and weaving, as well as visual arts. An additional to this project was to really equip those in the creative sector with entrepreneurial skills, tailored for the needs of creatives in the Pacific. We also looked into how we can better equip creatives in the Pacific to access diverse markets through e-commerce platforms. Finally, what this project really did was it created a platform for those in the creative sector, both through the trainings and through the Risley Art debates that were held in the frame of the project. It really brought together a diversity of actors involved in the culture sector. And this uh, dialogue really contributed to a better understanding of the gaps within the creative sector, but also of the opportunities and the potential the creative sector of the Pacific has. As a trainer, it was a very good experience to work with UNESCO on the project. Um, it gave me a lot of insight on the different challenges and issues here in Tonga. With the impacts of COVID-19, our people need to learn and to acknowledge their gifts and their talents that they already have. This is already embedded inside of us and we need to just tap into these gifts and we need to create our own products and make our own products and be proud of who we are.